Hello, hello, I hope you're doing well, and if not, hopefully I can make your day just a little bit better. The Prismatic Shard is one of the most coveted items that you can get in Stardew Valley, and obtaining one is difficult enough. What if I decided to make it harder for absolutely no reason? The base chance of getting a Prismatic Shard is a 0.05% chance from defeating a monster in the mines, or a 25% chance of getting one when you mine a Mythic Stone on floor 100 or later. And even then, monsters don't have the ability to drop a Prismatic Shard until after you complete all 120 floors of the mines. I decided to challenge myself by getting a Prismatic Shard as fast as possible, with a catch. To make it more difficult, I imposed a few barriers. The biggest one being that I can't sell items, which means I can't upgrade my tools and will have to monitor my energy closely every day. The next obstacle is that I can't farm, so I can't complete two bundles early to get to the boiler room and gain access to the minecart. The reasoning behind this is that I want to rely on drops and loot from the mines almost exclusively. The final barrier is throwing away the TV in my house. Why? So I can't check my daily luck and potentially get caught in the habit of sleeping through days and only mining when I have good luck. The goal of this challenge, or speedrun, is to enjoy Stardew Valley for what it's worth. To find that quiet place when, that you can go to when you're down, or share an amazing experience with those you care about the most. So join me on this adventure, and you'll get to learn about the cold reality of RNG, a funny joke or two, and how me and my girlfriend's first real interaction was in Stardew Valley, as well as stories from our first couple dates. This is an edit of my one-year anniversary stream on Twitch, so if you enjoy the video and would like to join me live, you can follow me with that link in the description. Thank you for your time, and enjoy. Awesome. Um, what's my name? Let's go, uh, Richard. That's my name, actually. Uh, one-year... Prismatic? No, one year prism. Prison. <laughs> one year challenge. One year shall. Uh, my favorite thing. What is my favorite thing? You know, I'm going to do something nerdy. I'm going to be a loser. I'm going to put a, you may know her. Uh, did I forget how to spell her name? No. Listerib. Remember to like and Listerib. Uh, we're going to do a kitty or kiki. Uh, basically, this kind of looks like my hair anyway. I always go rock the uh, black hoodie and the regular pants. Don't really have a beard or anything. We are going to play on the beach farm. Um, because you get potentially like things washing up on shore, like coffee, which will help you speed up a little bit and like food. Um, the goal, I'm going to put the alcohol down before I lay out the rules in case I put this on YouTube. The goal of this stream and the goal of this challenge is that I need to obtain a prismatic shard, which you can only get naturally, which you can only get naturally. Through a 0.05% chance from killing an enemy in the mines after you complete the mines. Otherwise, there's like a 0.01% chance of breaking a mythic stone after you beat level 100. So essentially, this is a mine speedrun, but with a twist. And as you can see in the title right here, right here, uh, we are not allowed to sell items and we're not allowed to check days for luck. So we just don't even need to look at the TV at all. Um... We get to throw away the TV. Uh, we are live. I'll say it once and I'll say it again. A year of we are live. God, I'm feeling so. Oh my God, I'm getting emotional for no reason. Without further ado, the challenge begins. Prismatic Shard percent, no selling items, no check days for luck. Stream ends with a Prismatic Shard or I'll gift 10 subs. Welcome to a year of Sveti, everybody. Let's go. Please. There we go. We don't even need to pick up the parsnips. Uh, to end the challenge. Uh, to end the challenge, we need to uh, actually 
put it on this table. What is it? R. Yeah, we need to put it on this table in the house. I'll do the speedrun strat. Because you don't unlock the mines till day five. Is I'm gonna try to get a uh, enough um, materials to make a chest. And the first five days are basically gonna be me gathering as much uh, wood as I possibly can, so that I can uh, I have plenty of chests to put in the mines, so that I don't have to keep constantly uh, uh, leaving and walking home and like throwing stuff away, and I can actually keep stuff. Which doesn't really matter if I'm not selling anything. But I think it's just better for uh, organizational things. So that I can have plenty of food with me. Or if I'm dumb and bring extra tools to the mines for no reason, I can just stash them there. Or if I feel like, uh, or if like I get to floor 40 and you can't really like tie, like hoe any tiles or anything. I can do it like that. And I just want to make sure I have enough uh, space in my inventory for everything. I love how this one always gets stuck up there. Um... I did start a beach farm playthrough with uh, Alyssa recently where we were just playing offline and had a really good time. Back to the story. I love uh, losing track of my story halfway through it. Uh, Alyssa and I went to the beach and she would not, I would not get out of the water because I just love the beach so much. And I was just enjoying being in the waves and just, you know, just relaxing. And um, <laughs> she, uh, I, she like loved collecting shells for a little bit. Like for the first like 20, 20, 25 minutes there, we were collecting shells and I was like, like absurdly good at it. And like, I would dive in the water just to go grab one. Like before it was taken away by the tide and everything like that. And just being like fully invested in it. Cause I knew she wanted to do it. Uh, <laughs> then she kind of just said like, she's like, I'm kind of tired of it. You don't have to do it anymore. I'm like, okay. Um, <laughs> And then after that, uh, we were just swimming and we like had a little picnic on the beach. Uh, we picked up all of our trash, which some people didn't, and it was really annoying. And I found like a, uh, it was like a Nutrigrain bar wrapper in the in the ocean, and it pissed me off. Um, but uh, it was actually really really chill most of the time. It like it was really crowded, but it's Florida, like near spring break time more than anything it's near spring bake time and i was just really having a lot of fun and she like told me i i walked up to her and she said she had to go to the bathroom like she had to pee and i'm like okay and she's like but i can hold it but i can hold it and i was like okay and then uh i gave her <laughs> i gave her a little um I found like a perfect little shell. It looked like a perfect little like uh, conch shell, like from SpongeBob. Uh, but it was like pink, and that's her favorite color. So I wanted to get it for her, and uh, I found it and gave it to her. And she's like, "Oh, this is awesome!" I said, "Hold on to this. I need you to hold on to this." And <laughs> and uh, I like dove on like the way a big wave came. I dove into it like I normally do, just to be an animal. And then. Uh, she, uh, like didn't expect it apparently. And she got hit and knocked over by the wave and she, <laughs> but like I said, she was like, Oh, okay. And a big wave came and hit her. And, uh, I came back from up above the water. I came back from under the water. Sorry. Uh, and I was like, hi, how's it going? And she was just like, uh, Hey, good news and bad news. And I was like, oh, what's the bad news? She's like, uh, I lost your shell. And I went, oh, oh, that's okay, whatever. And she's like, okay. And I was like, so what's the good news? And she went, I don't have to pee anymore. Apparently the wave came so quickly and with such ferocity that it knocked her over and like made her pee herself. But luckily it was in the ocean, so it didn't really matter. But um, I also need to say this, chat. My girlfriend is cracked at mini golf. She's cracked at mini golf. Genuinely cracked at mini golf. Ooh, it's raining. Third day. Pog. Um, Loki might skip this day. Because I think I have everything I need for the chests. Uh, I'll go ahead and dig it up. I bet this is going to be an artifact. I'm going to laugh pretty hard. Oh, no, it's clay. 
the one person excited to find Clay. Uh, but I'm probably just gonna like just sleep till day five. Not gonna lie. I also just realized how hard I just set myself up to uh to fail with uh. Uh, yeah, they just finished it. Yes. And I'm going to channel my inner Eugene for this one. Let's go! And <laughs> speedrun starts now. <laughs> it begins. Awesome. So mainly, like I said, we don't really need to worry about copper or gold or anything. Uh, it's mostly just f fighting my way down with a big old pickaxe and just getting through everything and just enjoying Stardew. I haven't. I genuinely haven't played Stardew in such a long time. Um, oh, there's some quartz. I can, and I kind of regret not picking it up right there. I've probably told this story on stream a million times already, but uh, my girlfriend and I met uh, online, and before she, <laughs> before we met, I think it was like a couple weeks before we met. Like we started talking like April. Uh, like in late April, like late April, like April 26th ish. I think that's a date I remember from it. Um, but it was really just interesting just to uh, talk to her and get to know her. And then I had in my uh, bio that I was, I streamed on Twitch, which is very, uh, very funny considering this is my one year anniversary here on Twitch. Um, and she said she watched one of my Stardew streams and like to see my voice. And she said, wow, my voice is deep. Your voice is deep. Uh, and she was like, oh, wow, he's kind of funny and everything like that. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. And so we went on our first date. Uh, chat, I will fully admit this. Um, <laughs> our first date, I had planned to go to this um, Japanese place because I love Japanese food. And it's a re it was a restaurant that I always go to with my best friend. Um, who I like just genuinely just love the restaurant, love the people there. And I'm like, okay, even if it's a bad date, I'll still enjoy the food kind of thing. And so I drove up there and we were supposed to meet there at like three or four, something like that. Uh, no, it was like, I think like one and they were closed for lunch for an hour and a half. So I went, oh yeah, well it's, uh, it's closed. My B. And I was like, oh, wow, I am dumb. I am a uh, certified dumb dumb uh, or a bozo, like in my tags. Ooh, that was a good easy one. But it was also like, oh, shit. I was really, I really kind of felt bad that I kind of messed that up. But uh, we found, I pivoted and found another kind of Japanese place. Probably should have saved that. Yeah, it's mostly just uh, we were like on our first date and everything. And, you know, we were, we had food. She later told me that she got the same thing as me. Uh, it was hibachi. And we got, she got the same thing as me because she didn't want to spend more of my money because I told her I was going to pay for it. And <laughs> um, so she didn't want to spend more money than that. And I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, uh, so we ended up having a good lunch. Uh, the food was kind of eh, honestly, because it's just kind of meh. You know how it is. It's a hit or miss sometimes. And uh, we were uh, having a nice time. We had a good uh, lunch. We just talked about space and kind of nerdy stuff. Uh, and video games. We started talking about video games. And she talked about how she played Overwatch. And she was good, really good at Overwatch. Um, <laughs> I keep saying that because she uh, hates when I say that. Because she like made it to like gold once, I think. Or she didn't even make it to gold when she played competitive. Um, but I like to tell people she's really good at Overwatch just to put pressure on her and just to have fun. Uh, or our lunch, we just talked for a while. I probably should have stayed for that cold, but we just get an easy one to straight to floor 20 pog. Uh, but after that, we ended up going to Dave and Buster's. Had a good time at Dave and Buster's. Uh, not the, it's 70 bucks, which, you know, I can't complain about because you are like at an arcade kind of, but it's 70 bucks for an arcade, dude. Like. It's kind of ridiculous. Chris Max Shards can spawn in regular geodes. What is this luck? What is this luck? Okay. 
Go ahead and throw everything in this chest. Uh, and then we can throw the seeds out and head on home. That was a really good day for day one. That was a fantastic day for day one. Also, uh, I do have my hands a little bit more free. Ah, there's a rabbit. Uh, because uh, I did get an arm arm mic. You can kind of see it in the. You can kind of see it over there in the uh, kind of left hand part of the uh, uh, screen, but it is way better because I have full range of movement in my hand. Because normally I had my mic stand right there. Well, here's my mic stand. But normally I had my mic stand right here, and I would have to reach both my arms around it. And if I ever needed to type something on the opposite side of the keyboard, I would, uh, I couldn't. Or, like, it would be very difficult to. And I, my, my, I would be very obstructed. And so I'm very thankful for that. And I just want to give a shout-out to uh, Winx, or uh, Listerine, my amazing girlfriend, for um, doing it, for getting that for my birthday. And I'm also getting a new microphone. So that I can lean back and be away from the camera. I also need to get a microphone or a uh, camera clip or stand. I really do. That's why I like, I really like kind of want to do this whole thing. And it's kind of my, uh, dipping my toes into speed running where it's not going to be too difficult for me just to, uh, create my own little speed run and just have fun. Now you take that pine cone back up there. Um, so hamburger. Welcome to the restaurant. Uh, I read that as Wampa Girl. I think it's Wampa Girl. Um, I, I read it as Wampa, like from Star Wars. Thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it. And uh, hope you enjoy your stay here. We are the hydration station sweeping the nation. With that being said, I will hydrate. Because I do need to drink a little bit of water. It's been 40 minutes. Once again, thank you for the follow. And uh, I appreciate you being here with me on my one-year uh, Twitch anniversary. Now, to continue my story from 15 minutes ago. <laughs> me and my girlfriend on our first date. Um, the reason why I bring it up is that it's almost our one-year anniversary. Uh, in, like, the talking stage, like, later this month. And then our first date was in uh, May. Um our first day, we went to Dave & Buster's to play video games. I showed her how much of a chat I am playing video games. However, we uh, we were just hitting off playing some video games. We played like an axe throwing game with like plastic axes. And we played uh, piano tiles, which I am a god at piano tiles. Chat, let me, I'm pausing the game so you can take me seriously. Uh, the timer is not important. Um, I am a god at piano tiles. Like the piano tiles at Dave & Buster's, I've broken the record by double which means i've hit i was able to do like uh the record i think was like 65 tiles uh in like a 15 second window or something like that or like a 30 second window and i got oh purple mushrooms would be awesome but i got the record of like a hundred within 30 seconds so that's three tiles a second or three tiles a second for 30 seconds straight. I was just on a roll and me and my friend, best friend, Tommy, were like always fighting over who could have the best score. And I always did. And he beat me one day and I took that personally. And I, uh, vowed to let, never let him have it again. And from there, uh, at the other place we go to, uh, which is like main event. At uh, the other place we go to, um, we went there and uh, I was just like, you know, we were just chilling and playing. And theirs is a little bit longer. Like, I think there's just like closer to a minute of playing. And uh, the record originally was like 140, like 140 uh, tiles in like a minute. And I got there and I broke the record and I set the new max record. But I thought of the ingenious strat and I got so good at it. That I broke the record with 196. 196 tiles in a minute. That's pretty darn good, chat. I'm going to ignore this guy. We made it to... We made it past the Dark Ages. We made it past the Dark Ages, chat. No one uses the slingshot anyway. It is for bozos. 
Then we went over to a game, you may have heard of it, called Deal or No Deal. Based off of the popular TV show, Deal or No Deal. And the reason why is because there was a very funny thing that happened while we were playing Deal or No Deal. But back to my story. This has been a 30 minute long story. Um, we played Deal or No Deal. And the premise of the game, Deal or No Deal, is that you have a briefcase, you pick a briefcase, and you eliminate lower value and higher values of money. And you get offered a deal after every couple that say, like, hey, do you want to, you know, um, risk it all and uh, do you want to risk it all and potentially lose all your money? I'm giving you a deal because you could get 100000 or you could just get down to a penny. So I'll give you like 30000 if you leave me alone, that kind of thing. Um, but I just like had this gumption in me that one time where I was just like, let's pick. I want this one. I want this case because that's going to be the $100,000 briefcase and get us like 1,500 tokens or something like that. I'm picking that one. I have a gut feeling about that one. And, we, and she was like, um, no, I don't know about that. I don't really know about that. And I'm like, okay, well, we'll pick number 11 or something. And so we went down with it. Chat, I kid you not. I kid you not. I'm telling you in full seriousness right now. Also, we can make a staircase. That'll help. But it's not really worth it. Um, I kid you not, chat. I, was this the wizard? Yeah, okay. I was right in how to do it. I kid you not. It came down to three things. Fuck oh, survival burger. Let's go 125 health. Let's go. Um, I kid you not, chat. I, it came down to three things. It was one, 15, and like seven. And do you know what was on the board? One penny, like 25 bucks, and the 100,000. And our case, you know, was included in that. It was like, we picked like case, like seven or something. And so we were down to that. I'm going to keep this dandy line for the uh, community center. I have to remember that. Um, but we were literally thinking about it. And I said, okay, well, um, I was like, I, I just don't think it's eight, like, don't pick 15. And she's like, well, it's my turn to pick. I think it, I think we need to get rid of 15. I was like, okay. Uh, and so she picked 15. And do you know what 15 was, chat? You want to take a stab in the dark at what 15 was, chat? My male intuition guided me to this moment in time to flex on this girl. On this random girl I met that day and had lunch with. And she picked it. And 15 was $100,000. We lost out on $100,000, chat. We missed out on $100,000 or like 1,500 tokens. We had a choice to either stick with our case or pick the case in front of us. And without, I said, okay, well, I understand if you want to go with that, but I think we should go with this. And she chose to pick the other case and disregard ours. Chat, I've never been more foolish. It was the penny. We got the penny. We got one ticket. A game that cost me six in real life dollars got me a penny. Got me a ticket. <laughs> oh God, I'm glad I'm recording this because I can edit that down for a short. Okay, the story's finally over and I made it so much harder for me to edit and say it in one continuous stream than instead of just word vomiting for 45 minutes. How many more... Why do I want to say squirrels? How many more slimes do I need to kill to get the... <laughs> I need to kill green slimes. That's fine. I'll go ahead and get this done real quick. <laughs> How many squirrels do I need to kill to get this adventurer skill? <laughs> Why did I throw away the slingshot if I was trying to get squirrel kills? <laughs> um, 
However, we continue on. We are looking... Where are the enemies? Okay, thank you. Love will do that to you. Uh, that was our first date. That was our first date. Um, and I remember she told me later that she thought she ruined it with me because of that. And I'm not going to lie. I had to have a conversation with Tommy. Because I said, I didn't really know how I feel about her. I really, I was like, I don't really know how I feel about her. I mean, she's cool. Um, it was a good time, but I just feel like she may be a little too, like, like, unadventurous for me. But I gave her another chance, chat. I gave her another chance. We had another date. We went to uh, go, I think it was, our second date was, shit. Was it to go watch a movie? Did we watch a movie our second date? You know what, Chad? I'm, re I'm rewriting the story. This is my history. Our second date, I, I believe, was um, going ice skating because she loves to go ice skating. Chat. Guess who doesn't know anything about ice skating? Guess who is terrible with their feet but great with their hands? I'm great at basketball. I'm good at football. I'm good at baseball. I'm... I am just god awful at 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 hockey i'm god awful at skateboarding i am god awful at that anything using all of my leg power and strength i cannot do it is like extremely difficult for me where are the slimes but she said hey let's go ice skating and i said okay i haven't gone ice skating in like 10 years so i'm going to be bad i'm letting you know right now That's a little insane. A little insane in the man brain, but... Also, oh, these uh, special jellies have... I think these black ones have, like, 600 health or something, and I'm doing 5 to 10 damage every hit. Ooh, winter root. That's good food. It's good soup. Come on now. Ooh, they gave me a mallet. Killed one with a uh, block. Shout out to me. That is also going to help for uh, killing a ton of slime. Let's get these winter roots. I'm going to have to eat them. I think these do energy mostly. They help a little bit with health. Hello? Okay. Oh, I was doing it the wrong order. Yes, sir. Ah! Ouch. My heart. It must be like 100 or 90. Oh, my heart. Dude, you're doing 17 damage. Chill out, sir. Thank you for the iron bar. My girlfriend will fight you. Casey? My girlfriend will fight you. Kiki loves to sleep on me. Kiki loves to sleep on me. She loves to claw my leg when I'm streaming. And there's no one and no lights on. And it scares the living hell out of me. She likes to wake me up and lick my face when I'm trying to sleep. I love her. But you'll have to fight my girlfriend for her. This happened a couple of days ago when um, I was uh, trying to sleep. Like I, had, I think I had just finished streaming at like 4 in the morning. And I just tried to go to bed. I woke up like two hours later after uh, uh, Alyssa had to go to work, and and then Kiki like wouldn't get off of me. Like she would just like like hop on my stomach or my back or my side, however I was laying, and then she would jump over the bed and just like literally just start like 
hitting in front of my face. Like, I would just be like, how I fall asleep is like just trying to watch a video, you know? And just like have video on the background and then just try to uh, fall asleep with that. Just have some background music and everything. And then Kiki would just jump right in front of me and then jump right in front of there. And I was like, okay, okay, like I get it. And then I just like, Alyssa was on her computer and I just went, stop. And Kiki went, and then Alyssa came in and took Kiki out and closed the door. Because I was just trying to sleep. And she could tell I was getting like legitimately frustrated. And then I woke up and the door was closed. And I'm like, thank you for that. Because I, I didn't know what I could have done. Do I keep going down to get all these treasures? Or do I just take the easy road? I'm going to get the, I'm going to get the treasures. We're about to be good. We're about to be at 100. We're about to be able to start getting lucky and potentially getting it. So, uh, we might be able to get it relatively... I mean, a 0.05% chance is... Uh, I forgot the math on it, of course. But, um... We are... Let's just see what's in here. Cave cares are great. The sword? I don't know how good that sword is compared to the city edge. Arm totem is really nice. Let's see. 29 to 44, plus 3 defense. Eh. I will take this, though. That will help me in my journey. And a cave carrot will help me in my journey as well. There's some iron I'm leaving on the table, but hey. It's okay. Sometimes life isn't fair. Haha. <laughs> That was a really bad pun. Star drop. The run starts now. You found a star drop. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of Listerine. Your maximum energy level has increased. I have more energy now. Let's go. I have my second wind. also just realized I was hunched over like that. So hopefully I can uh, sit up straight. It kind of hurts my back. My mic fell, Pog. My mic fell, Pog. Twitch fails, are you listening? <laughs> Come on now, give me, give me, give me some good. Give me the good. Let's go. We have completed it. We are at the bottom of the mine. Now all enemies have a 0.05% chance to spawn. Let's go. I, I, I will be a fully 100% honest. I kind of was. <gasps> it's time. It's time for miso. It's time for miso. Miso time. Miso. Uh, if you don't know that voice, uh, I don't blame you, uh, Kazi. Uh, it's, um, it's my character, Eugene. Uh, he is a farmer and he, I kind of, kind of did him for, uh, from when I started playing Stardew with uh, my girlfriend that I would just start talking in that voice. Cause it was kind of like funny and annoying. And it's just kind of like this and it's very upbeat. And he's like, Hey, how's it going? And I have a couple shorts of, uh, a couple of his shorts on YouTube that are really like are really good um they're pretty good some pretty high quality shorts i need to make some more long form videos because the long form videos were like my best videos um uh, because i had to put effort into them um yeah but like i said but it's mostly like his catchphrase is it's better to be a butterfly or a bee than to be a cricket so i can't can i do kiki voice Meow. Meow. Feed me. Love me. Hug me. Touch me. Clean my poo. I am Kiki. Meow. That's Kiki's voice. Oh, you were trying to sleep. <laughs> Think again, peasant. 
You have not scratched my butt today. <laughs> Don't really need any gems. That, I take it back. That was probably the best thing I've gotten today. I'm looking that up right now. What is the, what are the odds of a drop? Yo, chat. Hear me out, chat. Okay, hear me out. It is a 0.05% chance to get a diamond drop from killing a slime. It is also a 0.05% chance of getting a prismatic shard from a diamond drop, from a slime drop. So I basically just had prismatic shard luck right there, but it wasn't a prismatic shard. Which is a classic Ripperino moment. I could have saved 50 bucks. Bozo. Bozo. Yeah, but I'm going to I'm going to admit defeat. <laughs> And it's probably going to be conveniently at the four-minute four, uh, four minute mark. Here on the uh, speedrun timer. But yeah, I am I am exhausted. I'm tired now. I'm real tired. All right. I got to divvy out these five or ten gifted subs. Oh, I'm glad. Thank you, uh, Wampa. Hopefully you'll get this uh, gifted sub. That I will be giving out shortly. Um, gift a sub. Gift 10 subs. Processing now. Hey, Kaizy, you got one. Uh, Drew Drink Liquid, Mother Galaxies, El Frijolero, Hans, uh, Panziani. Sam Hot Dog, Sam Swag Poop 69, <laughs> and uh, oh, uh, Music, and Two-Tone. And you know what, Wumpa? For being here tonight, I really appreciate you spending your time with me tonight and uh, talking in chat. We got the Beep Boops going on, and there you go. I'll gift you a sub as well. Beep Boop. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Thank you so much. Beep, boop. I got to go to bed. <laughs> Let's go find someone to raid real quick. Wait, what's a let the beep boops finish though? Beep boop. Beep boop. Sveti spaghetti. How many do we have left? Is it Sam next? Are they in order? Beep, Sam. Sam. What you doing? Oh, you got yourself a hot dog, buddy. Beep, boop. Casey Victor. Gifting out at 11 subs. Beep, boop. Fantastic stream. Fantastic stream. Fantastic stream, y'all. Oh, hey. Um, you're still here? The video's over. Uh, hope you enjoyed, I guess. You know what? Since you're still here, if you are still here, consider this a chapstick token. Consider taking a chapstick token, and you can comment down, I have a chapstick token. What's it worth? I'll figure it out later. If my audience grows, I'll figure it out later. And guess what? You have a chapstick token. It'll probably be good for gift subs or being entered in a giveaway or something eventually. I'll think about the details later. But anyway... Thank you once again for watching. I really do appreciate you. And have a wonderful day. Or night. Wherever you may be. Time zones are confusing. And a little bit scary. <laughs>